I read a comment and it said something like, your YouTube is declining, so now you've turned into a TikTok troll. I was like, ah. Leave me alone. I look absolutely crazy. Look how long this hair is. When I got my hair done, I didn't even check how long this was because I've always got it like tied up in the back. But I got my hair done a month ago. I've had these in for a month. I'm giving you lot full ammo. I'm giving you lot full approval to call me nappy headed because chow, the growth, like the growth is real. I have a lot ahead of me tomorrow. So I am going to take my hair out, wash it, plait it down and have it nice and fresh over the weekend because I'm getting my hair done on Monday. For the last month, I've been in such a good headspace. Like when I tell you, I am just happy. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just little things that are just making me happy. And I'm just like, yes, that's what it's about. It's not everyday, it's not everyday gifts and buying shit to put you in a better mood. Sometimes wake up and be happy. And that's literally how I've been. Little things like me wear my glasses more. I don't think you'll even understand the stresses of these blasted contact lenses. I swear to God, I can't stand them. I cannot stand them. But obviously I know that while filming, I have to wear them. So I wear them a lot less. Like I wear my contact lenses a lot less. I went to the opticians the other day to get an eye test and the struggle, the struggle for me to see was so embarrassing. Like I sat there and it was putting me back in my depressive state. Because with me, it what 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 it takes on my mood to swing is for something to just not go my way. If something is not going my way, I am going to start sulking and it will get the better of me and I'll start overthinking and then it just throws me off and I'll just be in a funk for like a couple days. And now that I'm like in my own space, it's, it's, I don't really have anything to distract me more than like my games or my um, TV. I've had mixed feelings about growing my hair. You have to have patience with this hair thing, you know? And obviously because my hair has reached a certain length, I no longer want to, I no longer want to um, have my hair out. It, it's, it's not. Afro, maintaining an afro is not for the week, trust me, and it's not for me. That's why I've kept this hair in for the longest. This weekend, I'm going to do my little twist out and then get my little shape up. For those of you that didn't see, this, this is how my hair looked when it was fresh. And I'm going to redo it with like a zigzag pattern. I'm not sure if I want to do pop smoke or like straight back again. But I might do pop smoke, you know, but I just feel like pop smoke is a bit like you can't really do a lot of looks with that hairstyle, I don't think. And obviously I'm going to be taking content pictures. I've got a lot of TikToks and stuff to do. So, yeah, I need to um, make sure that the hair just matches. I feel like when I was, I feel like with the straight back, like, and obviously with hair all faded out and shaved down, you can't go wrong. But I just feel like the, the pop smoke gives like a hood vibe, like a hood street kind of street style vibe. And not a lot, not all of the looks that I'm gonna be taking pictures in are that vibe. So yeah, I need to be careful. Because, <laughs> and I'm one of them people, if the whole look don't make sense, you're not seeing me, you're not seeing me. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I, people do message me and be like, oh, where did you get this from? Where did you get that from? Like boys will message me and say, where's this from? Where's that from? So my style is all right, I would say. People have actually, people have actually come for the way I dress. Like people have actually come for the way I dress. On that chat, they said that I was worse dressed. I was like, I was like, wow. 
I guess everybody has a really different per per perception of style because I definitely I'm not going to be in a night tech place every single day and I'm definitely not going to be in an essentials tracksuit <laughs> and I'm definitely not going to be in a boohoo tracksuit so if you got to wear those things to have style and if you got to wear um if you got to wear designer trainers and all that bullshit to have style, not my kind of team. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm not really somebody that will wear designer. I've actually ordered my first designer pair of shoes. That will be the start of me investing in little designer pieces, but you will never catch me, never ever in a million years will you catch me with a designer label with the writing on it or me for me to be a target no way and I, I just find that that type of stuff really tacky so my hair is out i'm really proud of the quality of my hair my hair grows so fast if you guys go onto my instagram like back in april i was on like a level one so for my hair to get to this length already i'm like whoa it's crazy days later as you can hear from my voice I have a sore throat because I was sitting by the aircon at Ken Day's party and I was saying it's cold it's cold it's cold I don't know why it's so cold but I didn't realize that the machine that I was sitting next to was aircon like I'm, I'm, I'm a bit slow sometimes but it was such a good party it was such good vibes such good vibes such good vibes like just everyone was just dancing and happy like it was just good man i wouldn't really say the uk is a country where people are like majorly festive but every time guarantee when it comes down to like december people are like proper in it like i see christmas lights go up everybody just happy vibes it's very friends and family orientated people have moved from the us to the uk so like more people are celebrating thanksgiving over here like they're doing friendsgiving like it's crazy but I love it, like, it's just proper good vibes. Um, so yeah, it's a couple of days on because I just have not been vlogging. But I've gotten my hair done, as you guys can see. I got a little pop smoke local vibe. So I'll show you guys that later on. Something told me to check my TikTok. And obviously last night I had done a TikTok. There's a trend going on and it's a Nigerian artist and there's like a little concept to the TikTok that you have to do. So I basically followed the concept, but obviously my one was a bit extreme. And something told me to check my TikTok this morning and the bollocking that I have received. And I'm just like, why do people take things so personally? Like they take content and people's opinion or things that people create 
and put onto social media on their chest. Like they feel personally affected by it. And that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. For you to go out of your way to spew hate on somebody else's page, you're a different breed. I read a comment and it said something like, your YouTube is declining, so now you've turned into a TikTok troll. I was like, ah. Why can't y'all just leave me alone? Leave me alone. Like, anyway, but, and sometimes I get a bit cheeky and I'll respond to a troll, but it never ends. Like, it will never end. They will go back and forth with you for hours if they could. So it's not worth it. And I was just like, oh, I just can't be bothered. I just deleted the comments. And listen, I'm not afraid to delete a comment, you know? Do you really think a negative comment is going to sit on my page? I don't care. Negative comments won't sit on my page. My comments will always be filtered. Certain people's names will not be popping up on my page. So, yeah. Try again, boo. <clears throat> you lot need to loosen up. Loosen up. Because life is not that serious. Anyway, let me let me ca carry on with my day. I'm back home and I just finished like emptying all of the clothes I don't want uh, because I ordered a bunch of new clothes. I even did a TikTok like showing everybody like my new set of clothes. I'm getting rid of all these clothes because they're just taking up too much space. I don't really like to have a wardrobe with a bag of things that I don't wear or need. Posters came, my posters and my frame came. So literally I'm about to spend my time unboxing these and putting them in my living room. I'm just, listen. Guys. So these are the frames. So obviously I got, it's two frames because it's two designs and then together it makes one big photo i love these these are going to look so amazing on my wall wow 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 Look at this, guys. Look! Oh my god! <laughs> bit by bit, guys, I'm telling you, this living room is about to look like an art museum. Bit by bit, I'm taking my time. There's been so many things that I've seen, so many things that I've liked, and I just, no, it just doesn't do it for me. So I've just not pressured myself to buy anything, like, no, I don't see the point. I feel like, <clears throat> even with my sofa, I'm still using the temporary sofa that I have at the moment, but the sofa that I won, when I was about to buy it, it was then sold out. And I was like, fuck. But I've literally just seen that it's come back in stock, but it's saying 16 weeks. And I think to myself, how does it take that long for a sofa to come? Like, how? Like, I'm not understanding, and I don't have the patience for that. But I, but the fact that the sofa has come back, I, and it's the only sofa that has come back with the, with the colour that I want, I genuinely want this sofa. But I just don't know if I can wait that long. Because, I don't know. Maybe I should just do it, and then as the weeks go on, I'll forget about it, and then it will just pop up when it pops up, you understand? But then imagine it don't pop up and I've wasted all their months, that will have me fuming. Because that's what I've done in the beginning. I ordered it, two weeks have gone by. I'm, I'm, it's saying delivering today. I'm looking outside, no so far. Oh, we're gonna reschedule your delivery. But you didn't deliver it in the first place. So I, I just got my, my money. Oh, but I genuinely want the sofa. I genuinely want it. But we'll see. If something else pops up, then I'll get that. But I'm going to keep my eye on this one and I'll let you guys know if it comes. You'll hear me screaming from the rooftops 
when this one comes. <laughs>